Well, the Spanish call it flan, and the French call it creme caramel, but your grandmother probably called it baked vanilla custard with a caramel sauce. But my friends are so intimidated by that sauce that they rarely make this recipe. It's a matter of mixing one cup of sugar with a half a cup of water, putting it on the stove on high heat until it boils. After eight minutes, the bubbles seem to simmer down, and then when it turns a light coffee color, pour it quickly into a mold. Here I'm using a souffle mold. Tilt it, rotate it until the sides and bottom are completely coated. And here's a custard cup that's already cooled, and you can see that it's cracked a little bit, but that's okay, because when the custard bakes, it melts, and it'll be fine. And everything's a piece of cake after this. And here's the easy part. To make the custard, we take six eggs, six egg yolks, and put them together in a mixing bowl with a wooden spoon. And to this, we add one and one half teaspoons of vanilla, a pinch of salt, three tablespoons of superfine sugar, and by superfine, we mean sugar that has, just regular granulated sugar that has been ground either in a Cuisinart or a blender or even with a rolling pin in a plastic bag. To this mixture, we add three and three quarters cup of milk that's been scalded, and by scalded, we're talking about milk heated just until it boils. You need to stir that constantly because if you don't, you might end up with scrambled eggs. And now it's time to pour the custard into the caramelized mold. And when we do, we strain it. And after that, we put it into a preheated 350-degree oven for about an hour or until the custard's set. Could take more than a little, a little more than an hour. We want to put some wax paper on the top because the custard actually steams while it bakes and put it in a baking dish or a pot with some water in it. When the custard is uh, set, then it's done. When the custard's done, the center should still be a little jiggly because as it cools, it still cooks. And after it's cooled, before you remove it, you take a knife and you run it around the edges. It'll help remove it from the mold. And here's one that's already been cooled. You put it in a rim dish so that the rim catches the caramel sauce. And voila, creme caramel. And nobody will turn this down. Until next time, I'm Katherine Deals, Home Chef.